Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and I know I have been a little MIA, I was busy with uh, traveling during holiday season and I also wanted to take some time off for myself but I'm back now and I promise I will be more consistent and today as I have promised in the last video I will be talking about jacket skirts and uh, dresses uh, for an hourglass body shape and those who don't know me my name is Sheetal and I'm a styling content creator so if you're someone who wants to know more about styling how to style your clothes as per your body shape then please subscribe to the channel and uh, let's get started so before we start this uh, subject today people who are new and uh, who do not uh, know their body shape please watch the video i'm going to leave the link in the description box on how to know your body shape so please watch that first and come back to this video then it will make sense to you so let's get started with the skirt i'm going to talk about what are the do's and don'ts uh, for the skirts first so what are the don'ts so while buying skirts for an hourglass body type please make sure that you buy skirts which defines your waist so the first skirt which you should totally avoid is a straight cut because it hides your waist and it doesn't give the uh, definition to your entire body and it's just so boring and the second skirt i would say also quite low waist skirt which has a lot of uh, flare going at the bottom that is something will not flatter on an hourglass uh, body type and if you are someone who has an hourglass body shape but have uh, flat section then you can pair it with uh, different kind of crop tops then it will go and the third i would say also avoid uh, skirts which has heavy bottom uh, and uh, hemline is um, above the knees which you see in the picture please do not wear such kind of skirt those are for girls who are 14 or 15 and i don't think they even wear it now so please avoid these kind of skirts so that is something you should totally avoid now let's come uh, to the top picks what are the top picks for the skirt so this time i have done a lot of research and came up with more options because i do not want you guys to restrict yourself when it comes to styling and i want you guys to try different kind of skirts and fits in general also motto of this channel is less is more so if you know how to style and uh, even if you have very few pieces in your wardrobe that will work if you know how to mix and match and everything then you can create a lot of outfit out of those items and you can still look uh, great and stylish let's talk about the skirt the first skirt. made for an hourglass body type that is pencil cut skirt because it gives definition to your waist and it also does not have a lot of volume at the bottom so that is great and it works in all kind of settings informal and formal the second one uh, i would say wrap skirt wrap skirt is great whenever the word wrap come and uh, with any outfit that goes with an hourglass body shape and the third one is buy skirt it also adds this extra femininity to your entire personality so if you buying a buy skirt please try to find material which are soft and it will look really great uh, on an hourglass body type because it has this high waist as well but one is a line skirt a line skirts are very comfortable i do have few and i usually wear it for work purpose and those looks great uh, on different kind of uh, well-fitted tops and uh, the fifth skirt i would say uh, slit skirts skirts are also great with the high waist something like that and you can play around with the hemlines also uh, below the knees or the floor length it will look great because it gives definition to your waist the last one i would say tulip skirt tulip skirt is a different option than all other skirt and it looks uh, very different let's jump on jackets so when i talk about jackets i'm talking about the jackets overcoats and cardigans everything these rules will apply on everything so first thing i want to clarify is as i have mentioned it previously most of the women who have an hourglass body type they tend to have mid-size and large but when you're buying jackets and overcoats please make sure that you're not buying something oversized when we talk about jackets cardigan and overcoat these are the things which you should not do do not buy boxy jackets Jackets. and if you want to have fun with your wardrobe sometimes you can keep one or two pieces that is first and second one i would say also avoid oversized overcoats and the third one i would uh, say that you should also avoid cardigan which are very loose because it will uh, make your upper body looks quite heavy and that is something you do not want and the fourth one is a straight cut jacket those are again boring please avoid those 
and uh, that's it what are the topics for the jackets and overcoat the first one is belted overcoats those are very stylish pieces and uh, everyone should have one especially an hourglass body type those looks great and please try to get those uh, overcoats in your size and you can buy one uh, one extra size or some will give you that extra air if you want but um, that's a great option the second one i would say fitted leather jackets those looks great on uh, these jackets uh, give you this microchip look and it's very sexy and the third one is wrap blazers those are also very stylish option and uh, if you find a good one keep it in your wardrobe and the fourth one is denim jackets. I think denim jackets is for every body type and uh, hourglass body type should also have one. Again, keep in mind that you buy your, your size, not something very oversized that will not flatter your body. The fifth one is belted jackets. Belted jackets are also one of the option. The last one is my favorite. Those are single breasted blazers. Whenever you buy blazers, please buy single um, breasted, not double breasted, something like I'm wearing. And if you want to go little oversized, then you can buy something which is one size extra than yours. Then it will give you that extra air and that will work for you. But single breasted blazers are my favorite. And you can keep it in different colors also and play around with it with different kind of outfit. It goes well in formal, informal setting. Now we talk about everyone's favorites, dresses and uh, let's talk about dresses so what are the things which you should not do while buying dresses so do not buy dresses which are very loose again if uh, you buy a loose dress it will make your upper body look bigger and it will hide your waist and it will give this volume at the bottom so a total disaster for an hourglass body type it will not go well and the second one is a straight cut please avoid it it hides your waist the, the third one is i would say those dresses which has this heavy volume at the bottom something like that please avoid it what are the top picks for the dresses so i came up with a lot of option today for the dresses because uh, i want you guys to explore and try different kind of uh, dresses so the first one is empire cut empire cut is great i have got uh, empire cut dress made for uh, one of my friend's wedding and it looked great on me i do have an hourglass body type so that is something you should consider for your wardrobe you can also play around with the hemline you can go below the knees or floor length. everything will work with this the second one is belted dress everything belted works on an hourglass third one is wrap dress wrap dresses also looks really great on an hourglass because mostly comes in V shape if you want to know what kind of uh, necklines and sleeves will work for an hourglass body type please watch my previous video i'm gonna link the uh, video in the description box so please watch that and you will learn about the tops and bottoms as well with that and uh, the fourth one is biased dresses if you're going for a dinner you can wear such kind of dresses it will look really great fifth option is paneled dresses panel dresses are also great option it works in formal and informal as well and it gives this uh, definition to your waist area and uh, let's talk about the sixth one sixth one is also great corset dresses those are not commonly found but if you found a good one then please bring it home that is also a great option for an hourglass body type and i think as i had said previously it is made for an hourglass body type because it gives this extra drama on the upper body and gives definition to your waist and uh, at the bottom also it looks great if you choose the correct hemline as for your body type then yes it's a great option the seventh one is body dress. so if you have an hourglass body type and you have a flat midsection then you should own few different kind of bodycon dresses and you can play around with the hemline you can go for the floor length or uh, below the knees above the knees everything and then those bodycon dresses looks really great eighth one is uh, peplum dresses i'm not very fond of peplum dresses because i don't like a uh, nip around my waist area but uh, it looks great on an hourglass body type if you find good one and uh, then yes you can consider peplum dresses as well option is cut out dresses cut out dresses are also great cut out dresses are one of my favorite and if you know how to select the perfect cut out dress and how to style it then it is one of the great option um, for an hourglass body and while choosing cutouts please try to choose cutouts which are near your midsection because that is your defined area and that is something you would like to flaunt and uh, it will look 
great on an hourglass body type okay that's it for today and uh, i hope it was helpful and informative if you like this video please subscribe to the channel in the next video i will be talking about how to style an rectangular body shape and thank you for watching bye bye